What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 2 and 0 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Y'all saw the thumbnail, y'all saw the title. Coming at you, we're back on the grind, going to a couple of thrifts. Not sure how many, not sure what we're going to find. Kind of a gloomy, rainy day today. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we don't get rained on and hopefully we find some steals, some deals and just some interesting stuff to look at. Hopefully... <laughs> But anyway, guys, without further ado, just make sure you hit that thumbs up before we get started. And make sure you subscribe so you too can be part of that 2 and 0 Guy Kicks fam. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're up in here. I went through that whole rack right there. There's a bottom part to it that you can see. Let me rock over real quick. I'm trying to show y'all real quick because I didn't put some work in. Alright, right there. And then hopefully I ain't getting dizzy since I'm moving around a lot. But there's another rack right there that I went through. And this is basically what I found through that whole rack. Been looking for a minute. But luckily there's not really anybody here looking with me. So I got basically first dibs on most stuff. And this is the stuff I found. I'm not going to take everything. I still got to go through it. But I just threw whatever looked pretty decent in there. This Nike tee. It's a size medium. Has a stitched in Nike sign. That NC. And it does have that little thing on the bottom that was the first thing i found and it will get tied up with the rest this one i was thinking maybe for my niece but it has a couple stains now that i see it more i still gotta look through everything like i said pretty good found another one of these i've had a couple of them this one's not in the best shape a little bit of cracking but i've had a couple of these kind of packers football training camp and it has that little stripe on top everything's 50 percent off as long as it's a colored tag found this one from San Antonio 2014 Houston Astros oh and that one's gonna fall right now I'll fix it right now I just do it just a regular Nike tee not bad for a buck this vintage champion Michigan State 2000 champions World Series 2018 majestic tee the state there of Texas howdy folks Packers tee is an NFL tee, but uh, yeah, you heard that cart. This Bahamas Nassau, it just looked like a vintage tee with that tag. Dorset tees, may not be, but yeah. This Paris Saint Germain, uh, a Nike tee, it's not Jordan, but it does have a nice stitched in thing. And they're uh, announcing some stuff. This NASA one. Nothing special about it, but it is the 100 year anniversary. I just like the, look, the way everything looked on the back. And then this one right here, since they're not officially named that anymore. I don't often hate, but when I do, I prefer to hate the Washington Redskins. It's of course called Smack Apparel. And then on the back it says, Stay... What? Sure let keep getting tangled up. Stay victorious, my friends. I just thought it was kind of funny tea. This one's not in the best shape. Two bucks. Dallas Cowboys equipment. Then on the back it has that number one fan. Kind of liked it. I do like a bleach dye on it. Uh, this new, uh, yeah, new, I was not call New Jersey. New York Jets. It's a Nike dry fit. Still in good shape. And uh, three, 250 though, I don't know. This one's in rough shape. I just wanted to show it real quick. I probably won't take it. Unless I do like a bleach dye and even then it's still kind of rough. And it does have a hole like right there. But kind of harder to find the low spur stuff. I try to buy it when I can. Like this one's really, really faded. But I kind of still like it for me. So I don't know. I might take it. This one has that Star Trek logo. Official Star Trek. And for a buck. Not bad. It has that logo on the back right there. Got a Guardians of the Galaxy T. Nothing crazy. But for a buck it ain't bad. And it does have that same logo. And the Guardians of the Galaxy on the sleeve. This one came out backwards. Detroit Majestic T. This is a smaller size, like for my wife or something. And this one, they cut the sleeves off, so I might not take it. But, uh, yeah. But like I said, I don't know if that's enough for one video. I'm going to see how long it is. Oh, one more thing. Uh, yeah, make sure you hit that thumbs up because there's a lot of looking around. Anyway, the last thing. These, they're not that rough. I've seen worse. I think they're half off also does need a little bit of work it does have a little tear now that I'm looking at it um, but the soles are still pretty pretty good 
I see it says seven bucks. They're half off, so it'll be uh three fifty. I didn't even check the size now that I think about it. They are size 13. Sheesh. Might be too big to even take and risk it. But maybe I'll take them because I haven't found any in that good of shape. So hmm, we'll see. Well, guys, we're walking out. Ugh, got a big bag. Y'all basically saw what it was. Let me see if I can get like a thumbnail maybe. Uh, somewhere around. around there but yeah we'll get into it when we get back to the house all right guys so basically we found a few things at that salvation army they had it i got a big bag full of basically shirts and i did end up scooping those vans since they were in pretty good condition even though they are size 13 i do know a couple size 13s so i know somebody will use them and abuse them some more <laughs> anyway guys basically i went also to the nike warehouse store nike clearance store i guess you can call it they took the sign down that was posted in the front so yeah but y'all have seen me go there before i'll try to put something here like a thumbnail or something it's basically a bunch of bins it's a warehouse and they have all kind of stuff you have to have gloves and a mask to get in it's over on eisenhower for those of you that are local and it looks like more people know about it now because there was hella people in line i didn't record because there was a lot of people but uh yeah there was a few people there you could tell they were looking for like thrift clothes and stuff like that i don't really go there to look for that because honestly i don't know if you'll be able to find it there from what they have but then again you never know like i said you never know anyway this is what i found i'm gonna go over it i didn't record while i was there like i said because i had gloves on the whole time and you do have to have them on first item is this right here harley davidson looks like someone may have made it but it has a clock on top i am gonna try to fix those hands because they're kind of bent bent around and stuff but yeah got it didn't pay too much for it and i figured somebody can use it and also i wanted to mention for all this stuff i only paid eight dollars and some change so yeah guys i picked up some stuff and i didn't pay too much that's always a good combination now the next item is this right here which you can see i do projects on the side so vintage legs solid wood was a no-brainer for me to get and they do have like a tag or a tape around it it says 10 bucks right here camera's not focusing on it but it does say 10 bucks so i'm pretty sure somebody had them at the yard sale and they ended up donating them probably because they didn't sell them but me i know the value in this so that's why i ended up copying those next thing is this mini basketball right here it's nothing crazy but personally it's staying in my collection you see the logo right there it has timmy it has this logo right here which i'm not too sure what it is if you do know comment down below but on the other side is what makes it kind of different you can see that tim duncan right there with the spurs logo and it says what is it hall of fame enshrinement may 15th 2021 that's the reason i picked it up it's nothing that's a high dollar item but just something that i don't have that i wanted and especially when it was super cheap can't go wrong with it the next items that i'm gonna show y'all basically were in the area where the people were looking for like vintage clothes it was a clothing area i didn't really look in there that much because it was nothing but clothes and it didn't really seem like there was much in there but i found these right here you can see it's signed by two people right there it's a ferrari ferrari driver this one as well was another ferrari driver has two signatures as well and then this one it was probably all donated by the same person has the signatures next to the photo of the drivers and this one's for gains co racing so not too familiar with it not sure if it's worth anything not sure if, yeah but signatures are always a good thing especially with high brand high name items like that like ferrari and stuff i'm gonna scoop it up and then figure out the price later or whatever see if somebody's even looking for that or i'll just throw it in my stash pile and basically save it with the rest of my goodies that i have and bring them out years later now as i said on these next item i didn't look at the clothes that much but these popped up here and there bam we got a few hats i'm gonna go through them kind of quick first one's in america's most wanted on this side it has the fdny and nypd heroes i think it says heroes forever yeah heroes forever and then on the back of the hat it does say what america fights back which you can see right there america fights back so i just scooped that one up it is kind of dirty to be honest but i am going to clean it up this one right here was a no-brainer for me to scoop up it's a 2000 
18 NCAA Final Four in San Antonio. And it does have the Coca-Cola logo on the side. That one I'll probably be keeping for me, depending unless somebody's interested. You can always hit me up. I'm always willing to sell stuff, but I do like holding on to a lot of stuff. <laughs> this one's a Texas Longhorns, Hook'em Horns, nothing too crazy. Uh, it does have a little logo here on the brim. And it does have the, uh, what do you call it? The sticker still on it. Nothing crazy though, it just has that like Velcro backing. I picked that up just because it was still in good condition. Just like this one, it has the A on the front. Kind of looks vintagey somewhat, which I think the camera should have focused by then. And the Razorbacks on the back, the logo. Like I said, that one's nothing too crazy, a strap back, but it was cheap, so I scooped it up. And it was in good condition for the most part. This one needs to be reshaped, but this one I will be keeping. Y'all can see the logo there. It does look like it's an older release. In my opinion, I could be wrong, but it's a trucker's hat. And it is a officially licensed product, which y'all can see the tag on the interior. So that's the reason I did scoop it up. All right, the next item is this right here, guys. It took a while for it to focus, so I'm trying not to move it around. You see it says Eckerd 199. Just throwing it in real quick. This one I basically just threw in the bag. It's a Bugs Bunny Looney Tune. It is from 1997, so it's kind of a vintage uh, or an older ornament. I just thought it was pretty cool, so I just threw it in. Now, the next item is one that there was people looking around. I was already looking around in there for about 5-10 minutes, and somehow some lady was right next to it. She passed it up. Like I said, everybody looks for different stuff when they're there, but I'm surprised one of the vintage guys did not find it before me. But I'm glad that I did. Hopefully the camera's picking this up. A Dallas Cowboys 1999, yeah, 1992 NFL Champions, the Wheaties box. And the thing that's significant for me is that I actually have this original poster as well. So I'm going to find a way to try to display both of them together. But anytime I can find some Cowboys Super Bowl stuff, I will scoop it up because you don't see it that often. And I have seen them at some of the flea markets going for about 20, 25 bucks, maybe even higher depending on the Super Bowl and the condition of the item. Now the last item, it was a no brainer pickup. It is kind of worn, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I did mention in the comments something about Kobe's. This is what I was talking about right here. I'm gonna try to get, let me see. Ah, let me give you all a close up of it. I'll get out the, the way. I see that right there these kobe's they have like a 3d effect to them both heels are different i forgot what the name was i did google them and ds pairs are going from around two to 450 depending on the site but they are pretty worn one side which you can see there the heel is actually worn through the sole so yeah definitely 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 worn but i figured like I said, I paid eight bucks for everything. If I can find a donor pair of Kobe's, doesn't really matter if the uppers are basically gone, destroyed. All I need is a sole so I can put them on here. I may do a sole swap myself and do a video of it, or I may just try to find the right buyer that wants these to do their own sole swap and give them a good deal. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna try to keep up with these thrift stores. I do wanna keep going. I will be posting stuff on my site, tonystiendita.com, so stay tuned for that. Watch the site. I really do appreciate y'all that have been ordering from there because I have not really added or modified that site much lately. But I will be posting a lot of this stuff on there. Or you can also hit me on Instagram or Twitter through DM. Let me know you saw the, the item or which item it is. And we can negotiate a price or you can throw me an offer. I'm always accepting and hearing offers. Especially on stuff um, that maybe I was not wanting to let go. <laughs> anyway guys, hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Because it takes time to make these videos. And it takes time to go out there looking for this stuff. Even though I enjoy doing it, the thumbs up helps people that haven't seen the channel see it <laughs> and make sure you go enter the giveaway from the video previous to this one with into the am i'm giving away two 25 dollars gift cards so you can purchase something from their site and check out their dope clothing but anyway guys it's your boy tony with 210 got kicks coming at you with yet again another video peace guys to the next one <clears throat> to the next one